The only thing that I don't love about the Kindo Beauty Box, which is a vegan cruelty-free beauty box that ships worldwide, is that, you know, they start shipping the box only after the 15th of each month. So by the time you get the box, it's, you know, sometimes uh, the next month already. And then they release spoilers of the following box on the first of that month. Uh, so by the time you get your box, you already know the spoilers for the following month. So that doesn't really make sense. So my April box, they shipped out on, I think, the 20. 4th of April because you know there were some issues that I had with renewals it wasn't going through and all that sort of thing so by the time it was all sorted out and they shipped the box it was the 24th of the month and then I got my box very late in May so I didn't show you the box although it was fantabulous so I've got my May box here so now that we're only a couple of days into June I thought I'd show you this box anyway so every month they have a you know little product card the Kinda Beauty box is supposed to contain five products of which at least three will be full sized. Now, in my experience, at least four every month have been full sized. So, the, the March box I didn't love. You can see that in the description box below. It contained, it was a spa themed box and it contained, you know, uh, steam herbs and uh, bath bombs and, uh, you know, incense sticks and things like that. Incense sticks, not a fan. The April box though made up for it. It was, you know, everything was full sized and absolutely wonderful. It was their highest value uh, box till date. The May box, again, very nice, lots of makeup. So without further ado, let's get started with the, with the unboxing. I've got a full sized brush. This is a cheek brush, MOTD Cosmetics. Get cheeky with it, blush brush. This, unlike the usual kind of blush, brushes, I'm going to have a problem saying blush and brush uh, on this channel if you haven't noticed already. Sorry about that. Weird. Um, so this, uh, unlike the usual kind of brushes that you get in uh, beauty boxes, this one actually feels quite heavy. Wooden handle, very, very sturdy and heavy feeling. Not much gap between the ferrule and the bristles. Dense but soft, enough give to them. This will be nice for the cheek, it will be nice for contouring, it will be nice for bronzer, blush that works retails at $16 so very nice choice I'm so happy that they've started sending out makeup brushes in this beauty box I hope the trend continues I would love to get cruelty free vegan foundation brushes eyeshadow brushes and so on so the next thing is a full-sized C&H clove and halo hydratant wait wait I'm not going to tell you what the product is because the, the shade that I've got is Georgia and this is the product. So you're thinking it's a nail polish. No, it is not. It is a blush. Hydra Tint Blush Serum. So get a hydrated, healthy flush with this lightweight blush serum infused with meadow foam oil and hyaluronic acid. And apparently this is a good uh, choice to apply with the MOTD blush. Let's quickly swatch that. So I think it's quite a neutral, subtle blush for my skin tone. I'm already wearing something, so let's watch it between the cheeks. Subtle, very subtle on my skin tone. I think I can pull it off. So I'm only wearing a bronzer right now. It's a very subtle bronzer. It's actually Charlotte Tilbury's Glow Garsum, uh, Love Garsum that I showed you. You can see that in the video there. So I'll just try out the blush and see how it goes. Same brush. Very subtle. But thankfully not ashy on me. That actually turned out quite well on my oily skin. Normally, cream blushes and I don't get oil. So yeah, I like this. Let's go in for a bit of a thicker application. So I'm a bit scared to be trying something for the first time on camera, which is why I'm very, very light-handed with this. easy to blend out. I wasn't expecting it to blend out so easily. Yeah, turns out better on this side. Blush usually turns out better for me on this side. I have no idea why that is. You're going to have to ignore the huge cystic acne on my skin.
all right i'm happy with this so the next one is a deodorant this is a travel size deodorant from zion health uh the fragrance that i've got is original some people got sweet amber feel your best with this aluminium and paraben free deodorant infused with witch hazel vitamin e arrowroot rosemary leaf and pure calcium clay smells good i'm always running out of deodorant and uh, you know i'm very happy to find aluminium free ones so the next thing is not something that excites me a lot because you know this is what usually happens in uh, beauty boxes they end up sending out random scrubs and this is the Bombi vanilla bean sugar scrub retails at 10.99 uh let's just give that a whiff very nice edible even right the blush serum retails at 20 dollars and the deodorant retails at 3.49 so we already passed uh, the cost of the box way past it the cost of the box is 24 per month 19 point uh, nine five or four five i think if you are on a one year subscription so there's already great savings to be had there last product a car a car mini balancing toning mist and mini clarify facial oil just this packaging and this font remind you of another brand which has very similar color scheme as well and a very famous facial oil by very very similar font there i wonder whose brand came out first because you know this is too similar to be a coincidence isn't it anyway so five products of which three are full size this month uh, the cheeky blush brush the uh, vanilla scrub and the blush serum which is the, the brush and the serum are the most exciting for me in this box the deodorant is a travel product but uh, you know i don't think there's a full size version in addition to this it, it's probably you know this is meant for traveling so the only sample size products in here are the a car duo of the mist and the facial oil i'm more excited about the mist than the facial oil Blue Tansy joins uh, German chamomile and in argan and sa safflower oils with the facial oil. For the mist, there is rose, neroli, and saffron. So I'm more excited about uh, the mist than the facial oil. So these are meant to clarify, balance sebum, and calm inflammation. Massive cystic acne, thanks to steroids. So you've already seen all that in previous videos. So this month, not as fantabulous as April's box, but uh, not bad. I really like the brush and I really like the blush. So the blush and the brush are fine. Uh, the deodorant, not very exciting for me. Uh, yeah, I'm all right with it. The scrub, meh. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm over receiving scrubs and beauty boxes. Uh, the facial oil and the mist do. I don't mind. I, I particularly like the sound of the mist. We'll be trying that out shortly. So... This month, overall, three out of five products that I really like, the sound of, two that I'm not too excited about. Three out of five, not too bad. So I will be hitting up her June spoilers in the description box below. Do stay tuned for that. Hopefully, my June box will get here not too late and I can show you the contents uh, in June itself. So stay tuned for that. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up and please do the subscribe button and the notifications bell. And I'll speak to you soon.